today. This is coming out of Miami, Florida. Jay Wakefield. Man, in collaboration with Moxa Brewing and also Moisture Coffee. Big Papa. Hmm. Let me sit on that for a minute. Big Papa. Hmm. I love it. I love it. I ain't gonna front. I love it. First off, I'm gonna say this. I'm a Tupac fan. A Tupac fanatic. Out of my top five, Tupac is my number one out of all rappers. So I'm gonna leave that. I digress. Anyways, Big Papa. Let's see what this is hitting on. This is a Russian Imperial Stout with coconut coffee vanilla and it's sitting at 12% ABV. Shout out to that high ABV life. And shout out to my other sis that went to Miami recently and brought this back to me. So, again, I'm a Tupac fan. I digress. We're going to see what this is hitting on. I got some other stuff from Jay Wakefield. Hold on, let's see if I can get this bottle open. It's playing around. There we go. All right. We're going to see what this is hitting on. I got some other stuff from them right now that I'm waiting to get to. And this right here was calling me. It says Big Papa. Like I said, I love Tupac. And I want to see if this holds up to the reputation that precedes it. Let's get to it. Okay, okay. All right, I see, I see you. I see you. Porn, you know what I'm saying? With not much of a head. We're going to see what else it brings to the table. Very, very beautiful. Opaque, jet black. Very dark brown caramel head on there. So, again, it shows some love they put into here. All right. The coffee is standing out. I don't smell nothing else on my nose. Coffee and vanilla. So most likely, I'm going to assume the coconut is overshined by everything else. That's cool. 12% ABV, ABV, I'm good with that. That allows me to drink this and enjoy it and not have too many complaints. Right, let's see what it is. Yeah, I can tell it's going to be sweet. I might be in a diabetic coma after this. But, you know what I'm saying? That's what I like. I, again, shout out to hashtag high ABV life. And if you look closely, well, y'all can't see it, but I can tell. This shit got legs on here. You move that glass around, got legs. That's a good sign, too. But that still doesn't mean I'm going to necessarily like it. So I'm just going to get to it. I don't know. I'm getting coconut for like mad vanilla. Just it's a bunch of it. It's overpowering back end, front end, but in a good way, not like a negative way. Subtle coffee, um, some roastiness, some dark notes, some espresso ish, espresso ish sort of vibes, but not overbearing. Coconut four, vanilla, coffee on the back end. Very sweet. No bitterness. Smooth as hell. Goes down like water. But again, diabetic coma. You know what I mean? But I'm going to say this. I appreciate everything in here and I can taste every adjunct. A lot of times when you get into stouts that have two, three, four adjuncts in there, you're like, no, nah, I can't taste nothing. I only taste one or two, especially if coffee is involved. Because normally coffee is the head runner of the show. It's the headliner. They take over everything that's going on with the rest of the adjuncts. I don't get that here. I actually taste everything. And for me, 
I like coconut a lot. I don't do, you know, raw coconut, nothing like that. But if it's in a stout or in a brew, I hope that it actually shines through everything else and it presents itself in a way that I can appreciate the beer. This right here showcases that. It shows the coconut for, it shows that vanilla kind of, you know, following up, knocking everything out. And then that subtle, dark, roasty, you know, coffee flavor profile to it. And I'm gonna say espresso because it's it's a character that I appreciate when I drink coffee. I drink coffee, my shit's black whenever I drink coffee. I don't do sugar in there. I don't do, um, excuse me, I do sugar. I don't do cream. So when I drink my coffee, I just like to drink it. It's straight, it's good, it's delicious. I don't want nothing else in there. I just wanna enjoy everything. That's what I'm getting out of here. And to be honest, on the back end right now, I'm getting coffee. And I'm getting, um, excuse me, I'm getting coconut, I'm getting vanilla. The coffee is just kind of subtly there, just, you know what I'm saying, playing the sidelines like, yeah, we got you, we got your back. This is doing this thing. And to say that it's 12%, personally, I don't feel it at all. I just, you know what I'm saying, that's just me. I don't feel it. Again, hashtag high ABV life. Yo, this 12% ain't nothing. And I'm saying high ABV life because 10%, once you get to the double digits, you're talking high ABV. Anything below that is kind of, you know, it's whatever. You're just drinking. This is that. This is it. This is the shit. So I'm giving this two thumbs up all the way. I'm loving the notes I'm getting on here. I'm very, very appreciative of that. All adjuncts being present, all adjuncts being able to be presented and not being able to knock each other out, but they complement each other because, again, as I said, coffee is very strong. Coffee is extremely strong. So when you drink it, normally you drink and you're like, damn, this is taking over everything. And this is when a lot of stouts, and I honestly, I hate that breweries do that. They'll make a, a stout that's with coffee. And to me, I feel like when breweries do coffee, it's kind of more of a... Um, making a hazy ipa if, if you will it's the common thing is if you throw it in there oh it's gonna be fire just based upon that just just based off gp yeah if i throw coffee in this shit it's gonna be hitting i don't like that you know what i mean I, I want you to show me what you got without that but in this case i uh, I'm, gonna call, I'm gonna call you big papa i'm gonna get that to you i'm gonna give you that um still like two pop but i'm gonna give you that i'm gonna give you that big papa this drink was hitting. It's definitely hitting. It's fire. If you can get your hands on this, I don't know how often Jay Wakefield releases this. Um, if it's a seasonal, if it's a specific time of the year, excuse me, specific reason or occasion that they do it, I don't know. But I will say that they did their thing. This can artwork or bottle artwork, you got the, I can't say Kango. I don't know what I want to, yeah, I'm going to say Kango. You see the flour, which is, represents the vanilla. You see the coffee beans. You see the coconut. It represents all that. And all three of those actually stand present in there through the whole time. There is no... They out some Certain notes outshine each other like the coconut, but it's not like it's in a negative way. They complement each other very well. They work well together. So this is what I'm looking for. Two thumbs up on this. Definitely two thumbs up. This is fire. I'm loving it. I'm about to let this get room temperature and enjoy it, sip it, and knock it out the park. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure y'all like, you share, you subscribe. Make sure y'all let everybody know they putting on right now for the city and they putting on just in general. Um, cheers to everybody out there drinking good beer. I hope everybody's definitely been drinking something that's fire. Uh, everybody's been staying safe and healthy. Until the next time I'll see y'all. Peace.